right now. I'm really trying not to get distracted, <laughs> but I am. Wow. And somebody told me, yeah, get the new goggles. And as I walked out and they said new goggles, I started to think this technology Mike Todd has gone viral once again. The internet is coming for him and saying that Mike Todd is tripping. Some people are saying Mike Todd been tripping. What do you say? That's what we're going to be talking about today. Now, let's get into it. Welcome, welcome to the Men of Impact podcast. I am your boy, LAC. I'm happy you're here with me. If you don't know already, Mike Todd is the pastor, lead head pastor of Transformation Church. And Transformation Church became very popular back, I believe, was it 2008? 18 or 19 when Mike Todd came out with Relationship Gold. I personally was very blessed by Relationship Gold, the series. I thought it was phenomenal. And then when he came out with Crazy Faith, I thought that was phenomenal. So I have absolutely nothing against Mike Todd. But anyway, let's get into it. Mike Todd recently came out with a message. I think it's called Fresh Vision. And there was a snippet from his message that went viral online. And let's take a look at this and then talk about it. I have full surround sound on right now. I'm really trying not to get distracted, <laughs> but I am. Wow. Somebody told me, yeah, get the new goggles. And as I walked out and they said new goggles, I started to think this technology is not new. It's, this is just pictures and video and, and goggles and text messages. But because somebody got a fresh perspective on what was already available, the value of what was regular went up tremendous. Wow. That is so good. Now the church has been asking God to do something new for years when he said, if you would just take what I've already given you and ask for a fresh revelation, fresh fire, fresh anointing, it would be something that would become valuable not just to you, but to the whole world. And what does the church do? We take these goggles off and we put these on. <laughs> You're laughing, so is the culture. We're in an environment that is changing the way I talk. I don't even need these in this environment. I walk into the restaurant with antiquated love. Walk into the business place. There you go. There you have it. What do you guys think about that? Now, the backlash is so many folks believe that he's becoming too mainstream. And not only that, some also believe that Mike Todd ain't really even talking about the word of God. He's just all about gimmick. There are a lot of things that people are saying. We are a community. This is a community that is based on principles and leading from a place of love and understanding of the scripture. If you want to point a finger at Mike Todd, by all means, you can go ahead and point a finger. Let, let's be honest. You don't have to agree with this brother. You don't have to agree with how he does certain things and the way he brings about, you know, information, the word of God in a very unique and creative way. Not everybody's mindset works like him. Now, do I advocate Mike Todd? Am I in support of everything that he does? That's a different conversation. We're speaking in regards to what you just witnessed and what you just saw. What is wrong with what he did? That's what I'm trying to figure out, the problem or the issue. First of all, as believers in Christ, you have to understand there are certain churches that you go to they are for a certain spiritual maturity. Based on where you are spiritually, you will go to a certain place that will meet your needs spiritually. I'm not gonna point my finger at Mike Todd because if anything, I think this brother is very gifted. He is a gifted communicator, very gifted. And I do believe God is back in his ministry. We have to be careful because we do not agree with certain things or it may just seem different from how you would do things to automatically demonize 
a man that or a woman that is called by God. Being a man of impact is you position yourself to stand up for what is right. When it's uh, whatever that guy's name is who was playing the secular music in their church or when other people try to omit certain scriptures from the Bible, we automatically correct you. But if I'm using tennis racket for a second, let's say I decide to, to illustrate something and I bring in tennis balls or basketball hoop or basketball or soccer ball, or I'm using something to illustrate something while preaching and you take that as me being secular or me being worldly to each their own. If God is receiving the glory, God is going to receive the glory. Let me read a scripture to you. The scripture is from Philippians, Philippians 1.15. Paul was dealing with the Philippians and he was talking about people who preach from a specific place, whether it's from envy or strife or whatever. And I want to read that to you. Let's read what the Bible says. Paul says, Philippians 1.15, it is true that some are preaching out of jealousy and rivalry but others preach about Christ with pure motives. They preach because they love me, for they know I have been appointed to defend the good news. Those others do not have pure motives as they preach about Christ. They preach with selfish ambition, not sincerely, intending to make my chains more powerful to me. But that doesn't matter. Whether their motives are false or genuine, the message about Christ is being preached either way. So I rejoice and I will continue to rejoice. I'm going to read that one more time. Whether their motives are false or genuine, the message about Christ is being preached either way. So I rejoice and will continue to rejoice. Now, I don't know Mike Todd. I don't go to his church. However, if he's preaching from a place of his own ambition, God will deal with him at the end. And I still glorify God that the name of Jesus is being praised and the message of Christ is reaching people. Listen, I don't think Mike Todd is tripping. I think a lot of folks just, they want somebody to hate on and they're, and they're looking onto him. It's not everything that I agree with, but at the same time, I'm not gonna stand and point my finger at the man knowing that God is using him and God has positioned him to help a lot of folks. He may not be a, a pastor that a seasoned believer might go to, but he is a pastor that people who are new to the faith will go to. And he doesn't you know, uh, shy away from hard topics. Some of you don't listen to his messages. You go based off what other people say. When was the last time you actually sat down and watched a whole sermon? If you took the time to watch a whole sermon from Transformation Church, you will see something differently. And don't just take snippets and then make a whole theory and a whole idea saying this is who this man is. You're wrong for that. Let me know what you think in the comments, whether you agree or disagree. Let's have a conversation. Thank you for watching. I'll see you when I see you. It's your boy.